Hi, it's me. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it feels like it's been longer than it actually has been. Um, welcome to the stream. Uh, Twitch is updating on my phone, so gotta give that some time to fig sort itself out. But, um, today we're going back to the usual, and we're not doing the... 3D avatar today because uh, if I were to do that, my computer would implode itself um, due to the fact that I'm running two different programs at the same time and also streaming. So, you know, um, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not doing that. Um, I don't know when I'll be able to use the 3D avatar again. No clue whatsoever. But um, for now, we're going to keep on going with Leighton and eventually we'll get to the end. I'm thinking of starting, if if everything is going okay, I'll, I, I'm thinking of maybe potentially, just right now I just thought of maybe starting a new um, game alongside on Fridays like I did before, um, just to bring out, just to see some, not, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, T to bring more some more variety I guess. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Um, can't tell the vo no. It doesn't look like the volume's too bad. Oh, oh, we're not having a whole lot of uh, music fluctuations right now. There it is. There's our good old-fashioned Layton. Anywho, our story so far. Um, the professor and Luke continue their investigation around Saint Mystere for the golden apple. Conversations with the Baron, uh, Baron's associates lead the pair to the grave of the Baron's former wife. In addition, the two recover part of Baron Reinhold's personal journal. Regardless of this, Luke and Leighton are no closer to understanding just what the Golden Apple is. I'll tell you what the Golden Apple is. It's a cool item in the Minecraft. Pudding, patish, 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 Got them. The, ma the menacing tower at the edge of St. Mystere has roused the professor's suspicions. Eager to investigate further, further, Luke and Layton head in its direction. Right, the park. Right, the park. <coughs> ah, crap. I hit my pot filter. Spin. It, it likes to, um, slowly lean down. I do things. Um, you got a puzzle here? Park? Park gate? Mm. I just got some regular old water today. I had a granola bar and some, some, uh, Reese's peanut, a Reese's peanut butter cup. And now my throat feels weird. Like something's caught in it, so that's great. My mom bought me and my brother some, some Valentine's Day, uh, candies yesterday because I asked her to because <laughs> I like Valentine's Day candies and I prepared to, ate, to eat all of them within the evening um anywho this park has been closed every time we come come by why do you suppose that is professor hmm, I haven't the foggiest idea perhaps we should ask someone at the town hall we came all this way for nothing cool does the park hold the way into the tower search the park grounds to find clues we just got started and- okay. Well, I guess I should have ended right there instead last time. Whoops. That new Bowser's Theory thing came out? Um... What was it? Last... few days ago? Last week? Last week. Like on Friday or something? I think that's when it came out. And I have the original game on the Wii U. I never fully completed it. My brother did, though, because he's like that. Um... Oof! Rage sure works up a mean appetite. I'm starving! You have nothing for me. Alright, let's go then. Talk to town hall official. Do you have something for me, Percy? You got another puzzle for me, baby boy? Do not be alarmed by piercing gauge. This is for research purposes only. Nope, you got nothing. Where is town hall? 
Is this town hall? Oh! Oh, I remember this area. Can I get some hand coins, though? So, yeah, Bowser's Fury, Fury, Bowser's Fury, Bowser's Very Fury, um, came out, um, last week. But yeah, I have the original on, uh, on 3DS. And as per tradition, and as per how I've been feeling about all these, like, Switch ports and stuff, I don't really want to buy a $60 game when I already did. Granted, uh, we got 3D World with our, with our Wii U when we, when my brother bought it. So, technically speaking, I'm not waste, I'm not necessarily wasting any more money than I could have been, but I don't really want to buy it e either way. If my brother wants to buy it, that's his own decision. But he also ended up buying, um, the, the 3D... 3D All-Stars pack, so I don't know, maybe I could do that instead. I'm trying to think of what I've been playing lately. Like, if I should go try something... Like... I've, I've mentioned before... I think I've mentioned before how I generally, like, tend to buy, uh, play... There it is. Um, like, Nintendo games? And stuff like that, and rhythm games? A lot. So, I don't know, maybe I should branch out and try something different this time around? I don't know. I don't want it to be too long if it's gonna be on Friday, so that was the thing. Ugh. I don't know. Oh yeah, and also, tomorrow, at 5pm, I won't be streaming it, but, uh, there's a Nintendo Direct. In case anyone wants to watch that. Well, uh, 5pm EST, which is my time. Uh, 2pm Pacific, 4pm Central. 3 p.m. Mountain Time. Don't know any other. Don't know what the other time zones are. Uh, 5 5 a.m. Indonesian. <laughs> Anywho, that that's happening tomorrow. In case anyone wants to watch that. But I'm curious as to what they got because they haven't had a direct in quite a while. A regular direct, that is to say. Um, Rodney, you look like a rat. What's that you say? The gate to the park is locked shut? No, 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 that's impossible. We've em employed a caretaker who should, who should have everything up and running. <coughs> Ouchies, that hurt my throat a bit. <laughs> Be that as it may, the gate is locked shut, and we can't gain access entrance to the place. Would you please open it for us? I can read. I can read. I swear I can read. I swear to God I can read. That sort of thing is the job of the park caretaker. I strongly advise you go find him. Well, where do you think you might find this caretaker? Hmm, now that's a good question, isn't it? Managing the park is the caretaker's duty, but who knows who manages the caretaker? I can't say it's not one of my duties. What a bureaucracy! He manages the town's sewer systems as well. Now, unless you have some form you need to fill out, I strongly advise you to beat it. Christ almighty. Gosh, she's rude. The sewers. And so that might be, it is the one place we haven't searched yet. Perhaps we will find a clue to our mystery down there. I want to see one. Elaine! Hello. I've only seen one man hole in town. Oh, right. The one on the path to the park. Well, it's a dirty job. A dirty job. But someone's got to do it. Off we go. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, it's open. Why is it open? Oh, this is good music. Where are the hand coins? Where? Hello? Where are the, where are the hand coins? Why does that lead to a puzzle? Oh look, Professor, I found a hidden puzzle. Why was that just on the ladder? <gasps> Get the ball out, three. Alright. Oh no. I'm gonna sell them 20 moves. I'm not gonna do that. You know I'm not gonna do that. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't like this. Turns out, I don't like this. This is me. It's me. I hate this. I hate this. This sucks. God, that took five ever. Alright. Good job, Luke, you did it. In addition to having that bar bodily sun and yellow block in the those purple and blue blocks proved to be quite a pain, didn't they? Shut up! Shut up, game! You don't know. Piece of cake! Now let's go find more puzzles! I was looking for hand coins, but you know, whatever, it's fine. There's a hand coin. Is it just the one? Is there any other hand coins here? Because they weren't in the lights. Weren't in the lights. Weren't in the lights. I'm ignoring the elephant in the room. Nothing? Seriously? Nothing? Alright. Hey man. How's it going? <sighs> Alright. Excuse me. Are you by any chance... The park caretaker. Um. No. I'm an explorer of El Mundo. Right now I'm trying to familiarize myself with the local culture. Oh, um, well, please pardon my mistake then. Have a fun day, sir. Oh, well, one momento, he will play. I just saw a man in work clothes pass here. Could he be the caretaker you seek? He could be. Which way did he go? Probably to the right. Peril. Maybe it was the left. I see. Are you feeling alright? You seem a bit directionally challenged for being an explorer. I just arrived here after years of world travel. Je ne sais pas the local ge geography here. That's all. I see. In that case, please forgive me for making another assumption. Now please excuse us. We must get going. Wait! Which way to the Villa Gigo? Donde esta the train station? Alright. I'm guessing you're the park caretaker, so I'm gonna go back and go the other way. Sergeant Scrap, and what are you doing here? In the sewers, like a goddamn rat. There we go. <laughs> but don't you look surprised. I bet you didn't expect to see me in a place like this, eh? The river that encircles most of the stairs right past this pipe. But don't you get be getting any ideas, you can't cross it. <laughs> Give up on those ridiculous notions of return to the rest of the world and settle down here. I suppose it's a trust condition to make. <laughs> You're the fault to help you get situated. <sighs> Which boxes to move? In preparation for your big move, you've packed your belongings into 20 boxes. That's a lot of boxes. And erase them as shown below. And with everything packed, you are now ready to label each box and its contents. In order to do so, you need to move a few boxes around. 
How many of the boxes can't be labeled without ranging the stacks? Can't be labeled. Well, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This would be a fifteen. Fifteen way in the back there, like right here-ish. Like that's the fifteen. Um, I think there's a sixteen in there somewhere. I'm gonna put down four. I'm gonna put down four. And let's see where that gets us. That should do it. Nope, not four. Ah. Uh, I suppose I felt wrong. If the answer is zero, I'm going to scream. Let's try three then. I don't care about the goddamn pickerettes. We're in this the long haul. Okay, it's just three. Just three. Another puzzle solved. That's all it was. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, there's three missing here. So it's up, up, up. Yawning. <clears throat> well done. I like the way you get all fired up over puzzles. P puzzles. <laughs> You're my kind of guy. So hurry up and get settled already. Fight Mister is happy to have you. What if I don't want to move here? What about that, sir? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean there's more out here? What do you mean? Hello? Ah! <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> They're just out here. That's adorable. Teeny tiny Luke and Layton. Any other hint coins? Any other hint coins? No, stop that. Does the car have a puzzle for us, or...? I certainly didn't foresee sewers leading to a place like this. Look, Duke, that's my other will be Why did- how did that lead into a puzzle? I'm sorry? And it's 50 pickerettes. Math time. You and your girlfriend went on a road trip over the weekend. On the way to your destination, you drove 180 miles, and your girlfriend drove the rest of the way. Coming home on the exact same trip, your girlfriend drove the first 150 miles, and then you got behind the wheel for the last second of the journey. So what is the difference in miles between the distance you drove and the distance your girlfriend drove? All of it? All of it. Alright, well... Um... I guess... Like, you get... Listen, let's... Let's just... I have forgotten using the tablet at this point. Um, so excuse me for this. So we got... 30. So like... You got... 1... 150... 15 it gives you 165 I mean this is uh, I mean I guess it doesn't matter necessarily like at a minimum it is 181 miles <laughs> At a minimum, it's 181 miles. So, like, by that logic, if the if it's at at a minimum 181 miles, and we got. Do -do -do. It just looks like 
The aid is surrounded by a bunch of lines. I forget what they're, what they're called. The the big the big lines. You know the big lines on the keyboard. What are those called? One. That's three. So at a minimum, it's thirty-one. But at the same, like, part of me wants to say thirty, which is not true. I'm guessing. I feel like the easy answer. At a minimum, but then at the minimum, it's 31 miles. Let's choose a hand. Distances both to and from your destination are exactly the same. On the way there, you drove 180 miles. On the way home, you drove one way minus 150 miles. I'm gonna go 30. This is going to be wrong. How does this sound? <sighs> I've let you down, Professor. Think again. Finding a solution is simpler than you'd imagine. Think about the distance your girlfriend drove. On the way there, she drove one way minus 180 miles. On the way home, she drove 150 miles. The total distance each person drove must come include the trip out and the trip back. If you combine the earlier information about each leg of the trip, you'll only see that your girlfriend drove, drove a total of one way minus 30 miles. So is it 31? Was I correct in that- in that putting the assumption of 31? Well, here's my guess. No, it's not that. I I've let you down, Professor. Not 30, and it's not 31. I don't know. Two, uh, using the principal hand two and the information hand one, you can express the distance. One way plus 30 miles. That said, the difference between the distance you drove and the distance your girlfriend drove should be clear as day. I don't know, 180? That's a, that's not two. That, that was an eight. I, I drew an eight. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I can't leave until I get this puzzle right. I don't want to have this puzzle hanging over my head. I just start throwing out multiple I'm threes, so multiple thirties. Just get, get, just get, just get all of them out, all of them out. Get everything out. I'm, I am so done. We've barely gotten started, and I'm already so done. Here's my guess. How? <laughs> Plus 30 miles, minus 30 miles. Alright. I don't understand. I don't get it, but alright. Fine up job, Luke. Okay, that's a late and he's an archaeology professor. Whatever, we're going back inside. Looking for hint coins, looking for hint coins. Not gonna talk to the guy right there, because we gotta look for hint coins. Doo -doo. 
Alright. Alright, hello, good sir. What do you got for us? Oh, there! Now, what can I do you fellows for? You're the park caretaker, are you not? Would you mind opening up the gate to the park for us? Well, how could I refuse two curious lads such as yourself? Well, I'd like to open it for you, but I've got to finish this repair job here before I do anything. Is there anything we can do to help, then? Funny you should mention that. If I could just figure out the area on this map, I'd be done in a jiff. Do any good with things like that? Oh no, the pencil the map! Squared circles the order! Alright! Ah! No teeth. Sylvain brought you this diagram to see if you can help with it. Several circles and squares are pictured in the diagram below. How many times larger is the area of the blue square when compared to that of the red square? Um... Four? F four? Four. That should do it. Okay, I'm not crazy. Critical thinking is the key to success. That's right. If you rotate the middle square 45 degrees as shown in the picture, the answer becomes apparent. I was just thinking about it in like MS Paint ways. I spent quite a bit of time like making gradients in MS Paint because I'm dumb and that's what I do. Uh, middle square is half the area of the large blue square, and the little square is half the area of the middle square. Four, four times four is sixty-four. It's sixteen. Um, fine work, the both of you. Soon as soon as I take care of this busted main, I'll open that gate for you. Bang, bang, bang. There, I'll take care of that mess. Oh, let's open up the park, eh? Painting scrap, painting scrap. Open the painting and see what's inside. Did I mention? I don't remember if I mentioned last stream about the the blues clues thing. That the, the thing that happened with the blues clues of the alphabet that actually almost made me cry. <laughs> just because blues clues is just like so important to me. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but you know, just hold on one second here. Thank you, good sir. Come on, Eileen. There we are, the park is yours to explore now. Professor, we're in! Thank you, you've been of great help, Captaker. <laughs> I hardly need thinking, sir, after all this is my job. Oh, he's, he's Scottish, okay. Way back when I used to, I used to keep it open every day, but these villagers don't care which for me, park. I'm glad you fellas stopped by. It's the first time in a while. I'm going god dang Australian again. I'm gonna try to do the, the regular British accent instead. I don't care. I'm glad you fellas stopped by. It's the first time in a while I've had to do me job. And in we go. Park time. This park is really kind of sad, isn't it? It's all rusty and abandoned. It's just a silver ink set. Seems that no one set foot in this park for a very long time. Now on to business. Let's give the grounds over the first wheel once over. <laughs> I expect you will find something of interest there. I am very tired today. Now for the park, shelf of age. There's a puzzle here, of course there is, alright. Oh my. What is it, Professor? Or not. Oh, never mind, it's just plot. Look at this poster! The picture appears to be the same as the one on the, pic on the ticket we picked up. It looks like it's been posted here for ages. It's so faded you can't even read the letters. Oh! Hey, isn't that... Yes, I thought so. That little flower there in the middle of the picture, isn't it? It looks exactly as she does in, in the portrait we saw of her in the right Manor. manner. Who has seen that Baron Reinhold looked at the Midland Park for the sole enjoyment of his daughter? Strange. I wonder why it wasn't more popular with the village folk once it was open to the public. Well, I don't suppose speculation will help us very much. Let's keep moving. Right, you are, Professor. K 
curious indeed. Curiouser and curiouser, as the village goes. Alright, let's go this way. This place is so run down it looks like it hasn't been touched in years. What a shame. I bet it used to be a fun place. With even a big tent like the kind you see in circuses. Yes, there is something quite sad about it, isn't there? How strange. This is clearly a travelling carnival. So why was it left to rot here in St. Monsieur? I bet the first wheel is a mess too. I suppose it won't get... We I won't get to use that ride ticket we picked up. Ain't that a dang shame. Well, we have better things to do than ride that thing. Don't we? I'm messing with my phone, sorry. Someone in the park has a clue to finding the golden apple. I'm sure of it. Says you, Leighton. In the lamps, in the lamps, in the lamps. Big top circus. Pink coin. Head back this way. Hey, man. Oh, there's something down here. Look at this, Professor. It was lying on the ground. Another piece of paper, it seems. It appears to be a scrap of note paper. Would you read it aloud for me? Sure thing, Professor. Alright, let's see. The order should get some more young misses is catching on to this village's secret. She seems lonely, which is probably why the boss asked me to build an amusement park for her. Yep, it certainly looks like I've got my work cut out for me. The young miss mentioned here must be Flora. The whole park is built just for her. But I don't understand the other line. What's all this business about a secret in the village? I just wasn't ready to handle the boss of Steph. Poor young miss. Now, she's all alone in the world now. But no matter what happens, I have to keep going and take care of her in the boss's place. Page ends there. Baron Reinhold sounds like he truly loved his daughter more than anything. Fate can be so cruel. That sucks. He died before he could give his daughter the love she truly deserved. I didn't want to touch you! Oh, you love to go, eh? I completely forgot the voice I did for him. Good. How do you like me, Park? Lovely, isn't it? The sun's shining bright today, and I'm in fine spirits. Why not celebrate this weather with a puzzle? Let me tell you one of my me favorites. Me favorites. Me favorites. In a hole. Get in the hole. Uh... A tennis ball has rolled its way down to a hole. This particular hole is extremely deep and has a sharp bend in the middle making the ball impossible to retrieve by hand. To make matters worse, the ground around the ball, around the hole I can't read is made of hard clay, so digging the ball out isn't an option. Have you had something incredibly commonplace on hand that you can use to get the ball out? What do you use to get the ball out? Answer in five letters. Uh, my first guess was like a hook. Granted, that's not really commonplace. You like my handwriting? You like my handwriting? It's good. It's, it's even worse because I'm using the mouse. It's really good handwriting. It sucks duty. Um, a hook is not five letters though. Um, my second guess was like a fishing pole. Once again, not five letters. Um, hose is also four letters. A snake is not very commonplace. It's five letters, but it's not commonplace. <laughs> Something commonplace. I also thought rope, but once again, that's four letters. Um, 
Not a rope. <laughs> hmm. Shoelace is too long. Grabby claw. Vacuum is too long. Sucker, too long. Hooking cup. Oh, wait. Water? Yes, wax. That's what I wanted. Yes, wax. That's what I wanted. That seems like it would be the answer, right? Water? That should, should do it. Hey, yeah. Critical thinking is the key to success. All right. That's correct. That's that's correct. <laughs> that's correct. Theoretically, you can use any liquid in which the tennis balls can float, but water is a liquid you would most likely have handy. Since the ground is hard clay, there is little chance of the water getting absorbed into the surrounding earth. The ball should come up with little difficulty. Ah, you're quite the, the solver, aren't you? Ah, yes, getting back to Mead Park. It hasn't been properly maintained, and the parts are just watering away. If something looks old and broken, do the smart thing, lad, and stay away from it. A violin? Give it to Luke. Why not? Oh, right, we had a puzzle piece. Or a painting piece, my bad. Yep, it sure is upside down. Whoopsie daisies. That was not intentional. I don't see incoming along, actually. Alright. Alright. It doesn't look terrible, though Layton certainly has more stuff than Luke. There we go. Make it a bit more even. Anywho, let's keep on going, shall we? Oh. Hello, oh, Professor. There's a strange little shed here. Interesting. It seems the shed's roots. This shed roots water to the sewer pipes. I feel the wa this warrants a closer look. Give me a moment. Hmm. Doesn't appear that it, it doesn't appear the door will open. Let's move on to explore the rest of the park, Luke. But I want to go inside the abandoned shed! I want to go inside the crazy abandoned shed! Let me in, Layton. Don't throw trash in the lake. Cool, cool. Well, I wasn't planning on doing that. Nope, nothing. And here's the ferris wheel. This must be the ferris wheel we were looking for. Luke, why don't you look around and see if anything seems odd about it? Shopping, Professor? Hmm. Hmm. Did you find anything out of, of the ordinary, Luke? No, not a thing. Maybe there's no secret hidden in the ferris wheel after all. That remains to be seen. Let's look around a bit more, shall we? So in the end, that ticket we picked up turned out to be meaningless. So it seems. I suppose my intuition failed us this time, Luke. Come, let's head back to the heart of St. Mister and search for our next lead. And then... Everybody's favorite scene happens. Hmm? Hmm? What on earth? Get away, Luke! Run! Good music. 
The Prometheus School of Brainwave and things. Oh. Happy Mardi Gras, everybody. <sighs> simply destroyed it. If we'd made the wrong step back there, we'd be rubble too! Oh my. Hmm. I think I found something here, Professor. What could that be? Now, that's a, now what's an entrance to the sewers doing here? This could be an underground passage to the tower. You've got to take a look below. Come. I'm right, I'm right behind you, Professor. Plot time, plot time! Oh, interesting. I hope I don't trip. This place is pitch black! <sighs> and it's cold, too! What's your step, Luke? Look for anything suspicious or out of place. We're going to ignore the obvious one, um, and look for any coins. Okay, now we can look at the obvious thing. Here we go. Look, there's some sort of stone tablet embedded in the wall. This is clearly some sort of some kind of puzzle. I'd wait the solution will tell us the direction in which to proceed. Which way? Which way? Which way? Which way? Which way? The path you are on forks to the left and right in front of the sign seen below. Your gut feeling tells you that the sign reveals the... Reveals... God, I am losing it. Okay. The sign below... The sign reveals the direction you need to go. Find an arrow within the picture, like the yellow one on the side of the board. When you find it, draw a line around it as neatly as possible. Okay. Look for an arrow. Look for an arrow. Look for an arrow. Look for an arrow. Mm. Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. Luke, here's my answer. To the left, to the left. To the left, to the left. Every puzzle has an answer. Now you can move forward. That's our answer. We will proceed down the left corridor. Understood, Professor. I wonder what happens if we go down to the right corridor, though. I'm very curious, but we probably shouldn't go down that way. Or it won't let us. Alright, cool. Another puzzle, huh? Gonna going to ignore that and look for hand coins. Nothing? Nothing at all. There's one. Come on. Where are they? Okay, there's another one. There's a third one. Alright. Look, Professor. There's a strange device in the door here. Hmm. It seems to be a puzzle of some sort. I imagine the door won't open until we solve it. It's almost like we're being tested, isn't it? Solve the puzzle and you will- ah! Okay, we can do this. Can you get the bread ball out of the maze? Slide up stretching blocks out of the way and clear path of the ball. This problem can be solved in a few fourteen move. Fourteen move, huh? So that's that's what you're that's what you're saying it's yeah? Mm-hmm. Hard doubts. Hard doubts about that one. But
I have made a mistake. I have made a mistake. Where am I going? getting somewhere. Hey! That should do it. Mm. Critical thinking is the key I'm to success. I'm also water myself. I have a drinking problem. <sighs> Shut up. No, I'm not gonna do that. Should do the trick. Painting scrap! Yeah, baby! Alright. Give me a moment. I want to do the painting scrap first. I realize plot is important, but also painting scrap. A lady space. That's a lady space right there. All right, let's keep going. Oh! Wow! I certainly didn't expect a room down here. Oops! Hit my desk. Let's give it a thorough once over. Something isn't right about this place. I can feel it in my bones. Deep inside of his bones. Luke, did you did you literally just touch the flame on the candle? <laughs> Luke! <laughs> what is wrong with you? God dang it, I just wanted to hit coins. Something's hidden behind here. Alright, let's move the picture out of the way then. What's this here? It'd be some sort of key. But what does it unlock? We won't know in the swing until we investigate further. But the shape certainly looks familiar. Professor, could this be? It looks like the tower. I knew there was something odd about that dead end. Perhaps this key will shed some light on things. Luke, we need to head back to that large wall on the north side of St. Mister. I have a hunch that's more than a dead end. We did it! I wanted hit coins though! Are we still in the room? Please tell me we're still in the room. Oh, thank Christ almighty. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here, just an empty box. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. God, please! Look at how old this picture is! Alright, that might be a good one. Would you like to hear it? I just want hit coins, man! Pattern matching. I'm good at patterns, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Uh, the large shape below is made up of a pattern. Um. Section a section of the shape has been removed. Uh, a, a section. Not a section. A section of the shape has been removed. Of the options A, B, C, and D, which one would you insert to the large shape to complete the pattern? Okay, so the pattern... I can't write on this. All right. Okay, cool. Um, pattern. 
needs to have squares going through the bottom part of it. And be two, two squares. None of these look like they match because it needs two, two squares. No, it needs three squares, not bad. It needs three squares on the bottom and three X's on the top. So it's not A or D. Um, B or C, which one is it? Um, it's not B because... The... Is it? Is it B? Yeah, no, it's not B because when you flip it, it's... It becomes flipped? It... No... No, it don't remain the same? If this were on the 3D... On the 3DS. On the DS, I would just be able to flip it, but... Let me just tilt my head a bunch. Mm. Okay, I think it's B. Oh, that gave me some lightheadedness. Cool. I'm not in a good there health position. Go. Every puzzle cool. has an answer. Good job, Leighton. It's really just a matter of finding the right matching pattern, but staring at all those different pieces and trying to find the one that fits is more complex than one would think. It's not really. Gee, I didn't think that was that easy. Bone China teacup. Bone China. Give him that blatant too. Sorry, Luke. Maybe I can give you something else. There's literally no hand coins in here? Is that just a thing? There's no hand coins? That sucks. Oh well. Let's head back, I guess. Ugh. <laughs> Ferris wheel. Quote unquote, Ferris wheel. Oh, there's more hand coins. Alright. Cool, cool. Or I missed that one from before? I don't know. Anyways, let's just get on out of here, shall we? Let's go investigate that they didn't right away. All right, Luke. But first, let's make quick stop by the inn. There's something I need to check on there. By the inn, Professor. It seems that someone didn't want us around, Luke. Someone is, in fact, after us. And the key to identifying this scoundrel is back at the inn. So you already have an idea about who's behind this. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? Maybe. The Shadow Intruder. Someone's been obscuring, obstructing the investigation. Find the troublemaker and continue work on the case. What is going on with that, uh, shadow there? Do you guys have puzzles for me, maybe? Please? No, no puzzles. All right, all right. Let's keep going. Do you have a puzzle for me? Nothing. And the end is down here. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Professor. Is something the matter? You look a little shaken. Beatrice, I have an urgent request. Could you show me the newspapers from the last couple of days? The papers? Certainly. Hang on for just a moment while I go fetch them for you. That's strange. I'm sure I'm set I set them down here somewhere. Is there a problem? I can't speak. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Even today's morning people paper seem to have gone missing. Hmm. I see. Oh, thank you just the same, Beatrice. This has been most helpful. Just what was in those papers anyway, Professor? You who, Professor Layton? Mon, and to what do we owe the visit? Oh, he told me I needed to find you and bring you to Reinhold Manor. The inspector, I mean. Oh, hoo -hoo. He and Lady Dahlia await your arrival at Reinhold Manor. Thank you for the message. We will set out for the manor in just a few moments. Alright. 
The inspector wants us to come to the manor. You found the key to the tower, haven't you? How do you know about the key? Why is she here? Why are you here, ma'am? You mustn't interfere with that with the tower. Whatever you do, just stay away from there. Interfere? What do you mean by that, dear? Sad. Sad face. Cool, thanks, ma'am. Do you have a puzzle for us, good sir? Lady Dahlia sure is gorgeous, ain't she? Yep, sure is. What a dish, what a doll, what a honey. Gals like that are pretty rare, I tell you. Yep, yep. You have nothing for us. Cool. No puzzles here, either. We've run out of special puzzles. All we have to do now is plot. Never mind. Oh, this isn't Professor Layton. Judging by your expression, it seems you haven't found the golden apple. You look terribly tense, Professor. Perhaps a small puzzle will help you. Oh, loosen up. Over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. Why is Sergeant's graph in here? What in God's name? Use to move things in this event. Let's pilot the raft. You can only move one element at one time. Test the raft as soon as you do not need to load anything onto the raft and move back and forth. Okay. Help Stars and Scraffin Stars and Scraffin um move the wolf, sheep, and cabbage from one side of the river to the other while obeying the following rules. In addition to its captain, the raft can only support one animal or item at once. When starting scrapping isn't near, the wolf will eat the sheep, and you'll have to start over. The sheep will eat the cabbage. When starting scrapping is over, is around, you have to let the sheep have its way. You'll have to start over. You can shuffle the ref back and forth as many times as you like, but the shortest solution takes seven moves. Okay. Alright, Kiji. Luke, here's my answer. Not too terrible. Not not, not too difficult. Twenty six hundred. Seven six hundred. That was masterful, but I expected nothing less from the great constellation. Oh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's perfectly. Alright, cool, cool. Get over here. Alright, um, uh, manor. In we go. Welcome back, Professor Leeson. Please come in. Everyone is waiting. Thank you, Matthew. Is something to you, my good man? You seem ill at ease. Oh, no, I'm fine, sir. Please make your way to the parlor. Alright, if you're certain that nothing is the matter, we'll head upstairs. If you're certain, nothing's wrong. Aw, oh, Mr. Layton. Thank you for arriving so promptly. Come, have a seat. Why have you called us here, Inspector Chilney? Like you, I'm not the kind of man who beats around the bush, so I'll just come out with it. I'm on to you, Layton. It's clear as day. You are responsible for Simon's death. Are you suggesting I murdered Simon? Nonsense. <laughs> Nice, Leighton. I have to admire the way you keep cool under pressure. But of course I would expect nothing less from a cold-blooded killer such as yourself. I don't suppose you've seen this before, eh? This place is on display in the room in which Simon was found dead. All the forensic evidence I've gathered suggests that the killer struck Simon with this place. Our killer was never better, you see. He left his fingerprints all over the murder weapon. Fingerprints that match your own, Mr. Leighton! Oh, that's the base market, isn't it? You rotten murderer! <gasps> if this base is evidence, why did you just break it like it was nothing? They're going to give me an alibi, Leighton. 
Where were you when Le when when Leighton was killed? When Simon was killed, eh? Come on out with it. I was with Luke, the skinny matters down the village. <laughs> it was the best you can muster. It's clear the little brat is an accomplice to your crime. Admit it, Leighton. You two wanted to keep the golden adult. I I I can't I can't say words. I just can't. My tongue moves too fast and I can't say words. It's it's a problem. It's a problem I have. It's it's a condition. And I should get it checked out. You two want to keep the golden apple so badly that you can spot the murder of Simon. You can't fool me, Leighton. So cop it up and start talking. Well man, it'll take the key to the towel you picked up too. I see that you intend to un I'm putting this crime on me, Inspector. But if you're a true enforcer of the law, you'll acknowledge that I'm not the only reasonable suspect. Any member of this household could have committed this crime. In fact, you can't even rule out the possibility that everyone here had a hand in murder. Furthermore, are we even sure that the murder took place here? What kind of nonsense are you spouting now? Do you really think anyone here is fooled by your crackpot theories? Theories? Aye, aye, lad, I'm now... I... I learned his theories. It's Scottish now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Inspector, tell me, I'm beginning to think the only person here with something to hide is you. That's absurd. This has nothing to, in the slightest to do with me. No, Inspector, it has quite a bit to do with you. Meaning? Isn't it obvious? If there is any criminal element involved in this case, then it is you, sir. What? That's absurd. What utter rubbish! You'll need more than some death charge to save your hide. <laughs> Amy. Amy Rose. I thought you're quite a devoted husband, Inspector. I bet you take very good care of your wife, Amy. Luke and I found this article in the paper. Luke, what was Inspector Chelmy's favorite food again? I. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Multiple choice questions now, alright. A sandwich, unbuttered bread, hot, juicy roast beef, or sweet, fresh sweet potato fritters. This one. This article specifically states that you love sweet potato fritters. And yet you raged to poor Matthew when he brought you sweet with tea. Why? And your porches? Just so happens I have a promise for Amy's sweet potato fritters. Is that so? Thank you, Inspector. This little conversation has made things quite clear. Please take a look at this. I believe you just called them Amy's Sweet Potato Fritters, right? Yes, I'd like everyone to look at this article. As you can see... As you can all see, the article clearly states that Inspector Chelmy's wife is Amelie, not Amy. Do you mean to tell me you've forgotten your own wife's name? <sighs> Out of it then. Who are you? And why have you been impersonating Inspector Chelmy? And why have you been running this investigation? But your sudden memory loss forgotten your wife's name isn't the only special thing about you. Try to recall the time around Simon's death. You said you received a report that prompted you to St. Mister, but you forgot one thing. After Luke and I came to town, the drawbridge that is St. Mister's sole entrance had its crank stolen. The inspectors they stealed the village. From that point on, no one could enter or leave the village. And do you recall just when the seclusion began? Uh shoot. Shoot. I feel like it's been shut down for a while, so Correct. The only route out of the village had been closed well before Simon's death was discovered. Hmm. After that event, there was no way that anyone outside the village could enter. By the same token, there's no way to take things out of the village. Particularly something as large as a corpse. So tell me, Inspector Chelmy. Tell me, Inspector Chelmy. 
When did you actually first set foot in St. Mister? And furthermore, what did you do with Simon's remains? <clears throat> more on the subject, I have one more nagging question that I haven't been able to figure out. How is it that you knew about the key to the tower we discovered? When we happened upon that key, there wasn't a soul in the area save for Luke and myself. Furthermore, I have spoken of what we found there to no one. There is no conceivable way you could have known about this key. Unless, of course, you were, you were spying on us from the shadows when we picked it up. Now let me see if I've got this all right. You posed as the inspector and used Simon's death as an excuse to enter Reinhold Manor. Since then, you've been waiting for the ideal time to strike and steal the golden apple from us. How am I doing so far? Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? This is no laughing matter! I'm just... I'm just astounded at how despicable I find you, Leighton. But that's exactly why you're worthy of being my arch enemy. <laughs> I've always despised you, Leighton. This song reminds me of a Pokemon song. I don't know which one, though. I thought I'd be able to crush you once and for all here in St. Mister. But that would have to wait since you saw through my disguise. You haven't caught on yet, but St. Mister has a secret of epic proportions. <laughs> when I imagine a dimwit like you trying to unravel the mystery, I just have to smile. <laughs> my business here for the day has come to an end, so I'll be off now. But listen closely, Leighton. Never forget how close you came to being bested. One day, I, the great Don Polo, will gain my, will rain my revenge, vengeance down upon. I can speak, and on that fearful day, you will beg for an umbrella and a raincoat, maybe even some galoshes. <laughs> my throat hurts. Ouchies. Gosh. Good job, look, you did great. Oh, he just kind of broke out the window. That's cool. I guess he's gone. Do you know who that man was? Don Polo was his name. I've heard stories of him. His grasp of the ha as a hard scientist, hard sciences, was a to be unrivaled. The problem is, the problem, as you might suggest, the problem, as you might guess, was his personality. Though he was a genius, the man was evil. The science board banished him from working officially in his field ever again. Sneaking to Saint Mister to steal the Reinhold fortune sounds like, oh goodness. The kind of scheme he would hatch. He seems to hold quite a grudge against you, Professor. What did you do to cross him? I haven't the slightest idea, Luke. Hmm. Well, that's aside. What was all the talk of a secret hidden in the village? What was he talking about? I must abide by it myself. For the time being, though, let's focus on finding the golden apple, shall we? I say we follow our newest lead and head for the tower. Let's check the, the dead end from before, Luke. We did it! Hey, Chummy solved! So, uh... How's, how's it going? <laughs> I'm simply shocked, shocked at the turn of events! Who could have guessed that we had an imposter in our midst? He had me completely fooled. But you saw right through, Professor. I must say, I'm quite impressed by your cunning. I asked you how now to put that brilliant mind of yours to work again and set out in search of the golden apple. It would be my pleasure, madam. By the way, are you feeling alright? You look a bit pale. Hmm. I woke this moment, mo morning with memories of pe a peculiar dream I must have had last night. In it, my husband and I had just had a brand new baby girl and know how everyone fawned over her. The next moment, suddenly I was in the park, walking hand in hand with my own daughter. With your daughter, you say? Now, why would I have a silly dream like that? These past few days have really been quite draining. Hmm. Professor Layton, I, I don't feel particularly well at this moment. I think I will go lie down for a bit. What's wrong with Lady Dahlia? She says she had a dream of walking in the park with her young daughter. There's something quite curious about that dream. 
curious village, you might say. Haha. <laughs> oh dear, I'm stumped again. And I just know I'll never find a bride of my own if I don't solve this puzzle. I'll spend my golden years alone with only the smell of cats and ribbon candy to keep me company. What is ribbon candy? I beseech you, brother, help me solve this puzzle. Now I'm gonna have to Google ribbon candy later. Wood cutouts. Okay. You have a single sheet of balsa wood as shown in the diagram below. Your job is to cut the wood along the four diamond lines so you end up with four identical pieces. The pieces may face different directions, but they must not be mirrored versions of each other. Go on and get chopping. So, we can't make it this, because then that's mirrored versions. We can't make it that. Um. be this. I don't know what... can't though, here's a hint. Don't start off by dividing the wood into two pieces straight for the wood through the middle. Cool, cool. a standard office staple? Unless the shape you're looking to cut out here, except it'll be a bit longer in the middle than your right standard shape table. Like this, then? You want that? Ah, uh, I see it now. Okay. There we go. I got real confused. Thanks, hand coins. Critical thinking I'm running out of steam already. Success. Got shape of pieces, one stiff. Who was that guy? Oh, happy day. With that puzzle out of the way, I'm confident that no one will be able to resist me. I'll be buying my loneliness goodbye. Before I know it. That seems dangerous. Let's give it to Luke. <laughs> Oh, that was real high. Oh, Professor, how fortunate that you're here at a time like this. I have a favor to ask you. Please, madam, ask away. I'm happy to come to your aid in any way I can. Thank you, Professor. Could you solve this puzzle for me? Though I'm not feeling up to the challenge, it won't solve itself. How old is Mom? Uh, 
Oh, good Christ almighty. All right, more math. A father and son are having a conversation. The father turns to the son and says, You know, son, there was a time when your old man was twice the age of your mother. Of course, the next year I was only one and a half times her age. But still, that's pretty amazing, eh? If the father is 44 years old, how old is the mother? Um... One and a half times. Let's try six and three. Let's try that. The seven and four. Yeah, it makes sense. Cause three times two, three times two equals six. No wait, no, that wouldn't work. One and a half would be s no. Alright, then let's try four and two. And then five and three. Would that work? That doesn't work either. That doesn't look like it works either. One and two. Three and two? I think that's it. So the mom is 43. should do it you just kind of keep guessing another puzzle solved and then you get it 43 43 <gasps> this is a comic book <laughs> that's right the mother is 43 years old when the father the boy's father was two years old his mother was one the next year he turned three and she turned two we realize this only this is only company what is that face? What a relief! I can finally stop thinking about that silly puzzle. You have my thanks. Splendid painting. Give that to Luke. All right, let's get out of here. No, we do gotta head for the tower. God dang it! Wrong place. Keep thinking that leads outside, but it doesn't. Well, we do gotta head to the tower. Uh, heading to the tower actually, I believe, leads to endgame, so we'll hold that off until Thursday. Um, didn't realize we were gonna be getting to the endgame so soon. Whoops, clicked out of the window. But, uh, we do... So sorry to bother you while you're busy, but you'd make an old man very happy by helping with this puzzle. Certainly. Let's have a look. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna solve a few puzzles before we get there, and then we'll stop when we get to the tower itself. Lay these men on earth. Oh my god. Alright. Behold! Before you sits the laziest man on in the entire world! Known far and wide for his aversion to physical activity, the slug can, has designed his house so that he can grab anything without leaving the comfort of his recliner. Using an elaborate set of tools, including a fishing rod, extendo arm, and high energy magnet, the legendary loafer has put everything in the room within reach. However, despite his efforts, there is one place he can't reach without getting off his duff. His booty. Now I can reach that. Um. No wonder. One place you can't reach. Booty. Booty. Luke, here's my answer. Booty! Got it. Another puzzle solved. Oh, never mind. The, the, the bottom of the chair. Never mind. No one reached under his chair about getting off his rear end. Alright. So that's the answer. 
In my heyday, I could have solved the puzzle like that before you could say cobblestone! Ah, uh, the Minecraft material. My goodness, I guess I'm getting soft in my old age. Tea table, get that to Layton. Alright, let's get out of here. And off we keep going. Anybody in here? Nope. Nobody's ever in here. Sir, do you have something for us? Sorry, son, I don't have any more puzzles for you right now. That's okay. Do you have a puzzle for us, good sir? Yo, Professor, did you find what you were after? Never mind that, though. I've got something more important to talk to you about. Namely, chocolate. Let me solve the puzzle and I'll tell you something I bet you'll find re very interesting. I can... It's words! What are words? Nice, 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 nice. Alright, chocolate puzzle. Ah. Mm. You have a hand grain for chocolate. So, you buy a huge sheet of 30 chocolate squares. The sheet is 5 squares long by 6 squares wide. You can only break the chocolate at the lines that run uh, between the squares. And you aren't allowed to stack multiple segments on top of each other. Keeping those rules in mind, what is the fewest number of times you need to break the chocolate in order to separate each of the 30 chocolate squares? Hmm. Well... Now you gotta... What's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, less than nine. Less than nine. No, wait, less. Less than nine. Less than nine. Guess. We're guessing here. Here's my answer. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, how embarrassing. Think about how your chocolate will end up and try working backwards. How it will end up? Here's my answer. I'm just guessing. I don't care. I'm just guessing. Ah. Uh, I suppose I thought wrong. I've given up at this point. Five. Luke, here's my answer. Oh. How embarrassing. Eight. That's not two. Eight. That should do it. Oh, how embarrassing. Here's my answer. Nope. Frankly, I'm ashamed. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I've 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 lost I've lost motivation at this point. I'm sorry. Wait, do we do we guess four yet? I don't think we guessed four yet. Luke, here's my answer. I suppose I thought wrong. 
Do, 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 do. There we go. All right. Ah, uh, I suppose I thought wrong. Please break chocolate in order to achieve it. However, the truth is, no matter how you break the chocolate, the answer you arrive at will be the same. Here's my answer. I am Mick freaking losing it. How embarrassing. Flutter cheek chocolate and you get two segments where there are one before we break the two segments you get total three segments you start break. Regardless of what segment you choose, we'll yield a total of four segments chocolate. Do you see a pattern here? Do you see a pattern here? To what, twenty nine? Luke, here's my answer. Christ, on my critical thinking is the key to success. Cool. Now makes sense. Okay. Now about the hot info, I promise. If you want to experience the best. Dining in St. Mysteries, you gotta check out Crouton's restaurant. Everything he makes is Y U M M Y. Almost said E. Don't even get me started on the stew, you have to try it yourself! Wrong map. Ooh. Get that to Layton. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's try to solve another puzzle, shall we? Oh, ma'am, do you have a puzzle for us? Seems that Destiny has decided that I show you this puzzle. Will you triumph, or will the gaping maw of fate follow you whole? The wire cube. Eh. All right, you want to create a cube out of wire materials using the fewest number of wires possible. You can bend each wire as many times as you like, but no portion of the cube can have more than one length of wire over the same edge. Don't worry about how one mile will connect to the rest because you will be smoldering iron later on. What is the fewest number of wires required to complete the task mentioned described above? Would it... Would it not be... Hang on. Alright, let me try to think about this. We can get... We can get... Hang on. If we do it like this, then we can get this. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a way to do it so that you don't need. So that you don't need all that many. Pieces. It seems like it's gotta be four. It seems like it has to be four. I'm probably wrong. Luke, here's my answer. No, I'm right. All right. Okay. Cool. Four. Every puzzle has an answer. Look at this guy. That's a cute design. Uh, three state lines, blah, 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 each wire is two ends, so the number needed is four. Goodness, I can't believe you solved it! It was meant to be! I tell you what, since you went into to solve my puzzle, I'll read your palm. Come here, now. Hmm. Seems like a calamity follows you wherever you go. Try your best to stay out of harm's way. Alright, Luke gets, gets the globe. He's been, he's been missing some stuff. You got a puzzle for us? Let's, once again, I'm trying to stall for time before we get to the big place. Alright, well, we're not going to talk to you again. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye! <laughs> I 
I've got a new puzzle for you, dearie. I bet you're just try dying to see it, aren't you? I'm sorry, madam, but we're in a terrible rush. <laughs> you can't fool this, this old gal. I've seen you strolling around, solving other people's puzzles. Now it's my turn. Seeing us? What do you mean? Have you been following us? Puzzle. Rolling a three. When you roll a die, the chances of rolling a three are one in six. The chances of rolling a three twice in a, twice in a row are one in three hundred thirty-six. Chances of rolling a three three times in a row are jaw-dropping one in two hundred sixteen. Let's assume you roll a die three times and get a three each time. The chances of rolling a die a three on the next world and one are how are one in how many? This is a trick question, isn't it? Please tell me this is a trick question. That should do to it. Yay! Trick question. Every puzzle has an answer. Terrific. It doesn't matter how many times you roll the same number. If you are only asking about the probability of rolling a three in one turn, his there always will always be one in six. <laughs> You're going to the tower, are you, dearie? Well, how about I show you the way? Oh, I have the impression that the villagers of St. Bastille hated going to the tower. <laughs> oh, yes, I don't want to go anywhere near that place myself. Though I suppose I could make an exception for a strapping young man, strapping man such as yourself. Oh, yes. Um, Professor, we should really keep moving. Alright. It's a dead end. No two ways about it. Maybe there's another pathway to the tower hidden around here. Hidden around here. I can... I... Yes! Yes! Good! I'd argue that we come to the exact... To exactly the right spot, Luke. What do you mean by that? Look right here, Luke. There's a small indentation in the wall where, the thick, where one could place a small object. Oh! So this must be... Yes. This curious indentation is no doubt the spot. Indicated in Van Reinhold's note to Archibald. I'm willing to wager that we, if we put this in here, we give it a turn. Oh, oh, dang! Wow, just as I suspected. All right, Luke, in we go. All right, we're gonna call it for now. We're gonna call it for the day. Key. Solved. Ah, oh, great. Baby progress, yes, please. So yeah, we're gonna call it for the day. Um. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. Well, I'm guessing next next time will be the last part, and then I I'll have to figure out what to do then. But um, I I guess for now we'll just keep just keep going on, moving on. Uh, y'all yeah, should be back Thursday. Don't know what I'm doing Fri Friday. Friday. No clue. It'll be something, I'm sure. But, uh... For now, that's, that's, that's gonna be it for me. That's, that's all I got. So, uh... Yeah, I guess... I guess that's it. Um... Okay. Bye!